Hello and welcome to another video. A revolving credit mortgage saves you money by reducing interest costs, right? When you have spare cash, you can deposit it. And when you need the cash later, just draw it back down again. Your average loan balance is reduced and along with it your interest payments. Great for your home loan. But here's a trap we often see business owners encountering. Your business needs funds to grow and the easiest and least costly source of these funds is often to extend one's home loan and advance the funds to the business as capital introduced. As long as the borrowings are for business purposes, and as long as the advance from the bank to you and then on to your business is documented correctly, the interest on the borrowings should be tax deductible. There must be a nexus between the borrowings and generating taxable income. No problem so far. Often we see business owners using a revolving credit facility to borrow these funds because the interest savings seem like a no-brainer. But here's the but. Every time you put money into the revolving credit facility, you're repaying a part of the tax deductible loan. And every fresh withdrawal must meet the same test. There must be a nexus between the fresh drawdown and deriving accessible income. It's very easy to muddy the waters. Maybe you had some spare funds and parked them in the revolving credit facility to save some interest and later withdrew your funds to take your family on holiday. Your loan is back where it started from and the interest is tax deductible, right? Wrong. Because the fresh drawdown was not for business purposes, the interest is not tax deductible. Over a period of years, this process of depositing and redrawing funds can leave you with little or no tax deduction on the interest on what you considered to be a business loan. Once you have a non-deductible portion of the loan, that's stuck with you for the duration of the loan. All further repayments pay off a portion of both the business and private loan portions. Often the best advice is to avoid revolving credit when borrowing personally to fund your business, but there are ways to ensure you preserve the tax deductibility of your interest payments even with a revolving credit facility. Best to give us a call at the get-go rather than trying to fix a murky situation later. As always, each situation is unique, so please get proper advice before borrowing funds personally to fund your business. Thanks for listening, and please hit the subscribe button below for more updates.